y'all. <laughs> oh, today I'm having food from a place that I've never tried before. Um, still kind of going for low carb options, low carb ish even. Um, <clears throat> but this place I found on DoorDash called California Fish Grill. Okay. And y'all know I typically, oh, okay, there it is. There is utensils. I typically, you know, go for fried fish, but, you know, why not try something new? Uh, okay. I got an extra side of uh, asparagus. Yeah. So there's that. And here I got, I got rockfish, <clears throat> which, which I've never had rockfish as far as I know, but um, I looked it up and apparently it's like a kind of perch or something or other. Oh, there's three sets of utensils. Three sets of utensils for one order of fish. Okay, y'all. If y'all say so. <laughs> okay, there's that. Now, <clears throat> see, what is this? Oh, salsa. Yeah, I ordered salsa. Mm, so there's two salsas. I got one open. <clears throat> and with my fish, hey. Okay, well, that's interesting. I thought they were going to mix them. But I got the sauces, um, one sauce Cajun and one uh, garlic butter. Well, that's that's interesting. And they put the Cajun on one and the garlic butter on the other. <laughs> okay, you guys. Well, I'm going to fix up my plate. I got one of my plates out here. Um, I got uh, zucchini and with rosemary. Two orders with this. It looks good. It looks and smells really good. All right, I'm gonna fix my plate and I'll be right back. Okay. Ooh, I am actually very excited about this. Um, <clears throat> the asparagus is huge, um, and it's got like a lemon vinaigrette on it. Um, and this is some kind of rosemary type thing on the <clears throat> on the zucchini. That's like looking really delicious. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> the zucchini picked up the grilled flavor of the fish. All right, I want to try the the Cajun flavored one. Mmm. It's a nice firm fish. Oh, that's a nice spice. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. <clears throat> it's a good texture. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's see. Let's add a little lemon to it because I'll add lemon to everything. <laughs> mm. That fresh, fresh flavor of good lemon. And this little napkin oh and I ripped it uh, okay well so far I like the taste mm -hmm. all right let me try the garlic and herb butter mm. 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 oh wow mm. Mm. 
And I typically expect fish to be way softer than this. This feels like I'm eating chicken. <laughs> mm. That's okay. Mmm. Mmm. There's a tiny bit of fishy flavor. But that's okay. Just reminds me I'm eating fish. Mmm. <laughs> It's not bad. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. and the lemon really perked the, uh, the zucchinis up. All right. This is a big old piece of asparagus. Mmm. Oh, okay. That vinaigrette's really good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Why they leave the hard end of the asparagus? That's hard on the end there. Hmm. 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 Get fiber. Hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't want to eat those. Mm. Mm. The ends, I mean. Oh, Lord. Mm. Oh. Y'all can tell I'm not super excited about this meal. <laughs> but, <laughs> in keeping with my recent theme, I'm hoping it's fairly low carb. Mm. 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 Okay. Uh, mm. 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 You know, I just wanted to mix it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Mm. A steak. Burger, mm. Mm. chicken, mm. there are several other chicken places I can try. Mm. 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 Can I always try that Pollo Camparo place again? and see if they actually give me the grilled chicken this time. <laughs> that would be nice. Get a little salsa. Mmm, mm mm-hmm. Mm. Well, that was good. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. So, what's been going on in Candyland? Well, 
obviously not a whole lot. Y'all know how it is. Mm. Mm. I don't really do a whole lot, but mm. but last night I did rent on um Apple TV the Northman. Mm. And I really enjoyed it. I mean, mm. that was, uh, well, I'm trying to describe like how it was shot. Mm. It's kind of like, uh, it wasn't, well, shit. <laughs> trying to describe it it was like it was shot like it was an epic tale not just not just a movie it was it was kind of shot like it obviously like it was telling a story like this great story and I thought that was really cool I mean it, it you know it kind of a narrated moments and things like that um but overall what I got out of it was Hamlet you know, William Shakespeare, Hamlet. That's what the whole story kind of reminded me of. Mm. I mean, not exactly, but... And if I'm not pronouncing it wrong, the lead characters named Amlet. Not Amlet, but Amlet. <laughs> yeah. Lots of treachery, betrayal, and all that stuff. But I had gotten so many mixed reviews about it. I just had to see it. And I couldn't wait. <laughs> I paid 20 freaking dollars to watch that movie last night all by myself mm. Mm. I'll do that from time to time I'll treat myself to a movie mm. and while it would be nice to go out to a movie it's good that I have options <laughs> okay mm. Mm. That looks really good. Mmm. Yum. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm. 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 Yum. This is really fresh food. I like the taste of fresh vegetables. Um, you know, and while I could cook something like this myself, if somebody else can cook it, why the hell not? <laughs> mm. Mm. I don't have to clean no dishes. Mm. Mm. So there was that last night. 
And I also took the time to watch Survivor with Susan. Mm. And a couple more episodes of The Circle. Mm. And I tell you what, I just love Survivor. Mm. I mean, <laughs> in my healthiest, most fit days, which I was like a teenager probably, I still don't think I could have, you know, really gone out there and done Survivor. I mean, that's possible. I mean, I spent a couple of weeks in a tent in the woods once. Yeah, but we, me and the couple of friends that I had out there with me, we weren't far from town. We could go scavenge stuff. <laughs> so totally not the same. <laughs> they're putting, they're putting them out there right now. I mean. Like when you first go into the show, no rice, no nothing. You are just shit out of luck. I'm like, dang. I was telling Susan last night, you know, I have mad respect for people, you know, who can like just <sighs> well, <laughs> like do the whole gym and exercise and work 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 kind of hustle kind of thing you know i mean they hustle in their job they hustle in their life they hustle at the gym mm. and it's like i've never been like that i've never been a person with willpower self-discipline and i struggle constantly I mean, constantly. Mm. Over the course of the last week or so, almost two weeks, I've done good for the most part, but I've had days where I seriously struggled. And recently, like a couple of days ago actually, I mean, I found myself just absolutely ravenous and looking for everything, just anything to satisfy whatever thing was going on in my brain and nothing satisfied. So, so I ate way over my calories for that day. And, uh, you know, I realized my mistake if I had just given in that day I just said you know F it and just given in I might have been fine and I'd have never gone over my calories for that day you know so the following day I was like okay we're gonna do a reset here and I guess this is where freaking cheat meals come in you know but I mean I'm not cheating anything I'm just trying to like survive here <coughs> you know and I don't want to give up so in order to not give up <laughs> I just said, okay, what's the one thing you want? And I did it. And I'm sitting here admitting it. You know, I don't care. I mean, I ordered me some chicken yesterday. Some fried chicken. And, and I ate it. <laughs> and I felt satisfied. And that was actually all I ate yesterday. So craving, big craving, which I had been fighting craving so well, <clears throat> but something happened. And it's like a, a switch, you know, this whatever switch flipped to kind of get me on the right page, flipped and like took me off program. <laughs> but today, 
today we're we're starting again here we're starting anew <laughs> Mm. with healthier selections mm. and if I get hungry tonight I got a factor meal give me one second I want to look at something I think this place actually Okay, I'm gonna do I'm gonna write the order later. Let me actually go to the store. Mm. What does it say about that? Oh, oh shoot. Well, why is it that much? Oh it's the sauce. But I don't understand. Oh, maybe. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't say. But the the calories. Here we go. The fish alone, the rockfish, and oh, it depends on the sides. Okay, because I got I got the zucchini, and it don't say how much calories the zucchini has. But so I'm assuming. The rockfish with the zucchini might be on the lower end of the calories. The lower end of the calories is 657 calories. The high end of the calories, and I guess that it's like white rice, brown rice, cauliflower, oh, they had cauliflower rice. I didn't even notice. Okay, well, the zucchinis, okay. I could have gotten zucchini and cauliflower rice. It's two sides, but I got zucchini and zucchini, <laughs> and then ordered the asparagus so they don't give you the option for asparagus anyway cauliflower rice french fries kale slaw <coughs> ocean slaw i don't know what that is beans i could have upgraded to brussels sprouts and the reason i didn't do that is because it had a balsamic glaze and i was like oh yeah no 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 that's some sugar i don't need um and sweet potato fries fire roasted street corn which <laughs> it's the neighbor talking to her dog and she yells at that dog all the time <laughs> it's cute um and then there's upgraded dynamite fries which is like a seasoned fries so the low end of the calories is 657 the high end of the calories which i'm assuming if they get like there's a chipotle lime sauce hawaiian barbecue sauce cajun style garlic butter which is the two i got and it, it says half Cajun, half garlic butter. That's the one I chose. Seasoned olive oil, which would have been good. Or plain with fish seasoning or plain with no fish seasoning. Okay, okay, I'm getting to it. The high end of the calories was 1,832 calories. So I'm guessing that's like probably with French fries or something like that. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm hoping I kind of went towards the lower side of the calories. Not, not that it really matters. It's still pretty healthy. Um, all this going on out there. Um, let's see. Let me look at the sides, and I can see how much the zucchini is mm, on the side. Oh, don't tell me. And don't tell me what the zucchini is. But the grilled asparagus is 200 calories. Mm. And it's a lime vinaigrette, not a lemon. Mmm. That's good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. big fan of the rockfish though so. I mean it's good but I probably I don't know if I would have liked the salmon but they had a type of white fish another type of white fish and tilapia 
Mm. That looks really good. That's a nice hunk of fish. Mm. It's just so. Uh, if it wasn't for the sauce, the fish would be dry. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> I really like the Northman. Northman, Northman. <laughs> mm. I enjoyed it. Mm. And this season of the circle has been really fun. I mean, they've all been fun. I've really. I, that's one of the. That's one of the reality series that I really like. If I ever had rockfish again, I would I would probably want to cook it myself. It's just kind of it's kind of overdone. left oh okay you guys oh, 
That felt very healthy. Mmm. <laughs> but. Yeah, like I said, there's really not a lot going on. Um. The only thing that I think is uh, kind of cool. Is um. I kind of started reconnecting with an old friend. I've known this fella for. Roughly, well, he's <laughs> he's been pursuing me for roughly 14 years. And um, he's actually coming to Las Vegas next month. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm very curious to see how that goes. Oh, well, we had really good chats, very deep chats. Hmm. Mm. Mm. He's very like spiritual, Zen Buddhist, and we really have a lot in common. A lot, a lot in common. He's very charismatic. I can be, <laughs> um, and he's very intelligent. <laughs> so so it could be interesting we could we could have a lot in common you know to talk about and that'll be nice <laughs> uh, oh yeah mm, Lord stop it candy mmm mm. Anyway, you guys, Whew. thank you so much for joining me today. Spent a little time hanging out and just eating a good meal. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I love you guys very much, and uh, I will see you again soon. Mm -hmm. Bye now. <laughs> Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da